Hey guys, Tal the Wicked here with another Bee Swarm Simulator video, and it's time for Beesmas. All right, let's get Science Bear's Beesmas quest. So let's see what Science Bear has to say here. Science Bear says, I've been investigating the peculiar robot that's been installed near the rose field. It seems to require four different types of drives to operate. I've been working on constructing a red drive with the hopes of getting that robot working. But I've got a responsibility to Beesmus that will have to come first. It's my job each year to get the Beesmus lights functional. But they keep going out. I think I've identified the problem. The Windy Bee has been knocking them around with its gusts. We'll need to scare it off and repair the damage. If you work on the lights, I'll work on the red drive. Together, we can make efficient progress on both endeavors at once. Convert 697, 774 pollen into honey at the hive. Use one red extract. Use one blue extract. Collect 11 tokens from fireflies and collect 11 tokens from wild windy bees. To find windy bees, keep an eye out for clouds hovering over fields. Windy bee always hides within a cloud and will attack if you jump into it. It will usually spawn at least once per hour. So we just received Science Bear's Beesmas lights and we also got one paper planter from Science Bear. So let's take a look here. Like he said, we need to convert 697,774 pollen at the hive. Use one red extract, use one blue extract, collect 11 tokens from fireflies, and collect 11 tokens from wild windy bee. Well, I'll be back when we get the quest finished. I just finished Science Bear's Beesmas Lights. To finish this quest, you need to get 697, 774 pollen at the hive. That's convert 697,774 pollen at the hive. Use one red extract. Use one blue extract. Collect 11 tokens from fireflies and collect 11 tokens from wild windy bee. So let's talk to Science Bear and see what he has to say. Science Bear says, fantastic. Thanks to your effort, I believe I'll, I'll be able to get the lights working. Just a moment. Twist, twist, click, clack. There they go. With Beesmus lights working, they can occasionally spawn falling Beesmus lights as you gather. You can see where they're going to fall marked as glowing green discs. If you catch them, they'll convert pollen in your bag to honey and give you a short times two pollen boost. See, decorations aren't just for looks. They're great for productivity as well. Now for the other task at hand. I've managed to repair the red drive and I want you to take it. If you can find the other three drives, you'll be able to activate the Robo Bear. I've done some research and have learned that a white drive is for sale in the Bee Bears catalog. I've also spoken to Dapper Bear who told me he's collected a blue drive during his travels. As far as the glitch drive goes, I suspect the bee bear might have a lead. I'm very curious to find out what's what that robot's function is. Anyways, thank you for the help with the lights. Happy honey days. All right, for the for finishing Science Bear's Beesmus lights quest, we got 1,414,213 honey, one red drive, one purple potion, five micro converters, and one gingerbread bear. I am going to uh, talk to Science Bear one more time. That's all the experiments I can perform for now. So check back with me after the game updates. So it seems he doesn't have any more Beastmas quests. Let's take our, let's see if this switch does anything. This is the Beesmus lights are on now. Falling lights will gather in the fields as you gather. Okay, so let's take our red drive that we just got. Let's see if we've got it in our inventory here.
Okay, we have the red drive right there. Let's take this over to Robo Bear and see what we get. So I'm going to take this over here and talk to Robo Bear. Okay, talk to Robo Bear. Robo Bear says dot, 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 dot. Error, error. Insufficient drives. Robo Bear lack unit. Robo Bear unit lacks necessary drives for normal operation. To proceed, locate and install necessary drives into unit. B. Commencing hibernation mode. Goodbye. So I think maybe we need to take it up here where the red, red drive that looks exactly like this symbol. So let's open the shop. Can't afford red drive. So you can buy them here with 50 cogs. Looks like it's the same price for all of them. Nope, the glitch drive is more expensive. Let's let's get rid of that. Maybe. So you need 100 cogs, 5 red drives, 5 white drives, 5 blue drives for the glitch drive. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to get all 5. And then here's the digital B. So if we want to buy the digital B, we're going to have to have five glitch drive or five red five blue five white and five glitch drives plus seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven honey and that'll get us a virtual bee with malfunctioning ai corrupts fields hacks enemies and duplicates the abilities of your hive so it looks like until we collect the other drives we can't do anything here with oh look at that there's a token up there let us go get that token here while we, as we see it in the video. And we will see if we can collect some more drives here in a minute. How do we get up there? Well, let's just go the long way and go from up at the wind shrine. I didn't actually see what that token was, but we will go check it out. So this is the best way I know how to get there. So let's see what it is. What's this token? Oh, it's dice. It's a loaded dice. So that is new to me. I did not know that was there. So we will continue to get drives and see if we can figure out what to do now that we finish Science Bears. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys.